What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Bora Call of Duty Premier Series Season 6 Race Number 13. This is the Memorial Day Classic, the COD 600 from Charlotte. This is going to be the longest race in Bora history, but not this one. This is the LCQ. We can get to the Memorial Day Classic first. These are 15 drivers trying to take up 7 spots. On pole, you got Luciana Reese and Ramian Fisher. Yeah, Adam Akers and Angie Brown. Yeah, Kapula by AJ Jefferson. Got Dalton Riley and Max Claudel. Bafood Sacco and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Rebecca Tyler and Tyler Flood. Philip John, Tom Akers, and Drew Charles rounding out. Your field, 17 laps. They will have to pit around lap 14, 13 to 16. I doubt they'll be able to make it all the way. Um, green flag is, Alex, the top seven advances. Everybody today will be using patriotic paint schemes for the Memorial Day Classic. Luciana Reese getting a really nice jump right at the start. Adam Akers and Kapula Bai coming up the inside. Adam might try peeking underneath Luciana. He's there. Will he get the run? She's going to drift up the track a little bit. Alright, I turned up my, my gain a little bit on my mic. Hopefully it's a little louder. The kids are being loud, so hopefully it sounds a little better. Kapula Bai taking him three wide for the lead. Lucy and Reese into the wall. Ramian Fisher did a great job avoiding that. So did Angie Brown and everyone else. Max could all look into the inside of Ramian Fisher. Here comes Kapula Bai. And that patriotic Red Bull scheme to the inside of Adam Akers, Max Fadell with a huge run. Oh man, nearly three wide in the trioval. You can go three wide in the turns on the back stretch, but trioval is not the smartest place. We're already on lap three of 17 in this LCQ. Max Claudel getting a huge power run on the bottom. Adam Akers into the wall. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. in that Kesey Motorsports. Chevy look into the inside of the 10. Now I know some of these guys aren't in the correct manufacturers from normal. That's just because I was too lazy to make a patriotic scheme for every car. So, um, yeah. But Max Caldwell taking the lead. Zach Fitzwater Sr. trying to change that. Rebecca Tyler using the apron there. Lucky that didn't just trigger a, a chain reaction. Oh, there goes Angie Brown and Buffoon Sacco in the back. Angie Brown hit the wall pretty good. Buffoon might escape without major damage. Caution is not out because they're below the apron. Oh no, that stinks for those two. Maybe they can hope for a caution or play strategy. I don't know what you're gonna do though. Rebecca Tyler going for the lead. Here comes her teammate, Philip John in the 17. Zachary's in the wall. Everyone did a good job avoiding it. Luciana Reese getting a nice shot from the 18 to Jay Jefferson down the back. Rebecca Tyler just kissing the wall. They're just like a little, a little peck. Max Claudel and Jay Jefferson going to try taking those six three wide. Max backed out of it. Very smart move. Jay Jefferson's going to push the 43 up the track by getting on her quarter panel. Uh, Rebecca Tyler into the wall. Will Jay Jefferson take it three wide? He's got to do something. Ramian Fisher is not looking patient behind him. Luciana restarted on pole. She's back up in the lead here on lap six, coming to lap seven. Ooh, she got a really good run off the corner. Looks like Jay Jefferson got a little loose. 11 laps to go in the LCQ, and they will have to pit again. Buffood, Sacco, Angie Brown hoping for a caution or something. Three wide for the leaders. Ramian Fisher getting to the inside of Jay Jefferson. Luciana Reese is brushing the wall. Max Liddell's found his way back into the top three. How about Tom Akers and that Akers Racing Dodge? And Kesey, uh, <laughs> Zach Bruce Wettersen and the Kesey Motorsports Chevy inside the top five. Well, top six. Dalton Riley in the final transfer spot in that Marines Toyota. Oh, four wide. I don't see this any well at all. Jay's in the wall. Zachary and Luciana making contact. Dalton backed out of it. Brilliant move by that number 11. Ramian Fisher continues to lead. Man, this racing is getting exciting. The actual Veterans Day Memorial, or not Veterans, the uh, actual Memorial Day Classic. There we go. It's going to be 101 laps from Charlotte, so... Hopefully these guys aren't trying to race like this then. Too long of a race. Jay Jefferson dropping back. His tires are dead. Not long until the pit stops, though. Do you short pit or do you try stretching it as long as possible and hope for a caution? I don't know. Right now the top three are pretty stagnant with uh, Ramian Fisher, Max Claudel, and Zach Sr. Dalton Riley trying to change that as soon as I say it. He's looking to the inside of the 53. Oh, he's 
Yeah, he's a little, his car's tight. He just washed up the track. Adam Akers taking major advantage over that. And that number five, CarQuest Chevy. Dalton and Luciana Reese nearly making contact. Oh, man, the five's all over the 11. The 43's into the wall, into the wall again. The five doing a pass in the grass. Luciana Reese just got robbed. She's going to go from fourth to possibly outside the top ten once they cycle back around. Definitely. Oh, my goodness. Dalton and Tyler Flood into the wall. The top five are pretty spread out now. Top six, even. Max Caldwell sitting comfortable in second. Zachary Twider Sr. third. Adam Akers fourth. Capula by fifth. And you got Tom Akers sixth. Drew Charles in the final transfer spot. And you got the two JGR drivers, Jay Jefferson and Dalton Riley, trying to change that. Jay with a huge run on the bottom. Tyler Flood riding the wall back there. They're coming really close to pit stops. You're going to have to have an absolute perfect pit stop right now if you're outside looking in. Zachary Twider Sr. moving to the inside of Max Caldwell. Adam Akers right on his bumper. Capula by nearly going in the grass to get below the five. Capula by last week's winner. Trying desperately to get into the chase. Has to make this race. It's basically a must at this point. Inside Adam Akers. Adam clipping the wall there. That is for fourth. Tom Akers, Adam Akers' father coming up to try to take a fifth away from him. That's not good for Adam. He's got a, quite a gap to Jay Jefferson. Like I said, I think they can go from 13 to 16 before they pit. We're on 14 now. No one's on pit road yet. I suspect this will be the lap they, they do it. Yeah, Ramian Fisher pulling into the pits. Zach Fischwander Sr. Oh, man, nearly missing. Jay Jefferson's going to stay out. I don't really know if I agree with that decision. Because this extra lap on extremely old tires, I don't know if that's going to be good enough. Considering he was, I think, 8th, or was he 7th? Uh, he was really far behind the leaders. I don't know if I agree with this decision, but you got to mix it up, man. I'm all about strategy. Like, comparing last lap to his best lap, he was over a second off. And, all right, here we go. He's pulling into the pits. Who's going to be the first one off of pit road? Ramian Fisher was the leader going in. He's going to be the leader coming out. Zachary Swider Sr. was second going in. He might lose a little bit of ground. Oh, Adam Akers in the five. Oh, Angie Brown and Max Caldwell. Huge damage. Oh, that's going to hold Kapula by up. Adam Akers is still on right sides. Problems for the five car, potentially. There he goes. Did he only take right sides? I don't know. Very interesting. The 18 has now lapped a couple cars, but that'll change in a minute. Ramian Fisher coming out of the pits, coming to the white flag. He's got a pretty good gap over second. Tom Akers moving up to third. Max Cuddle fourth. Pull by fifth. Philip John sixth. And right now, Adam Akers is seventh. That's if Jay Jefferson, if his strategy doesn't work. There's Zachary Fitzwater Sr. coming by. That's going to put Dalton and a bunch of people lap down. Ramian Fisher, he's not on the white flag yet. I misspoke. He's on lap 16 now. Um, I believe he just took the lead as well. There's Jay Jefferson. That's going to pull it by. There's Adam Akers. He was on the bubble coming out of the pits. He was seventh. We're going to watch this because it's between him and Jay right now. There's Jay Jefferson in the red car. Oh, did it work? Adam's going to drive by. Angie Brown as well. Oh, we're on the white flag now for the leaders. Let's go watch that. Ramian Fisher, there's really nothing to watch there. The battle for the tr final transfer spot is on. The 91 is running eighth. Jay Jefferson ninth. He has one lap pressure tires. Can he reel down Adam Akers? And that's a that's a big gap. That's I don't know if he can do it. Ramian Fisher's gonna win the LCQ. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. second. Tom Akers third. Max Cladell fourth. Capula Bay's gonna come home fifth. Philip John sixth. It looks like Adam Akers is gonna hold on to get the final transfer spot. Jay Jefferson tried mixing up with strategy. I think if he would have pit with him because he was in seventh, he definitely would have made it, in my opinion. That extra lap just it killed him. But we'll be back to look at your official results. And your official top seven. We already went over it, but now we can do the official. You got the winning photo on the top right. Ramian Fisher with the win. Almost, literally five and a half seconds out of Zachary Fitzwater Sr. They got Tom Akers third, Max Claudel fourth, Capula by fifth, Philip John sixth, and Adam Akers seventh. Those who we will see next week goes Jay Jefferson, Angie Brown, Tyler Flood, Drew Charles, Rebecca Tyler, Buffoon Sacco, Dalton Riley, and Luciana Reese. 
both JGR drivers miss the show again, man. That's so unfortunate. But we'll be back for the Bora Veterans Day Memorial. Or, damn it. The Bora Memorial Day Classic. The COD 600. We'll be back. Drivers, start your engines. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora Call of Duty Premier Series Season 6, race number 13. This is a Memorial Day Classic. The COD 600, the longest race in Bora history. On pole, and quite possibly the biggest pole of his career, Nick Ventura, to his outside is his young teammate, Tim Randolph. And you got Isaiah Forward and Nick Flood, Logan Claudell and Burt Forward, Ryan Kesey and his teammate, Hunter Spartan, their other teammate, Alexander Rowe and Joseph Rakowski. You got your LCQ winner, Ramey and Fisher and Donovan Dewitt, Alvin Summers and Eli Bright, Max Anderson and Keon Eddington. If you're not following us on Twitter, please do, or Instagram, uh, but please, Twitter, it's at bros, O-R-A, and then our Instagram is at blower bros. We talk about a lot of things that I don't mention in the races, but once we get the green flag, I'll continue my point. Green flag's out for 101 laps at Charlotte. Anyways, on Twitter, we kind of announced, uh, well, we did announce, I guess, that not only if you win this race do you get, you know, your ticket punched to the chase, if you're top 35 points. But you also get a guaranteed ride for Season 7. So there's so much on the line for the winner of this race. Isaiah Ford trying to get past his teammate Nick Venture to lead lap number one. Isaiah's brother, Burt Ford, trying to get... Oh, man, nearly turning him. That looks like Isaiah Ford will lead lap number one from starting third. But there's so much on the line for these guys today that it, it's just huge. 101 laps from Charlotte, the longest race in Bora history. Uh, hopefully there's not like a giant wreck that takes everyone out. This should be a really fun race, man. I'm so stoked. The LCQ is crazy. Hunter Spartan going three wide on the forward, boys. Joseph Rakowski running fourth. He has zero top tens this season, but he's top ten in points. Oh, Nick Ventura and Joseph nearly make contact. They've had a rivalry in the past, Nick Ventura and, I, and uh, Joseph Rakowski. Could that get re-sparked today? Joseph with a huge run on the inside of Hunter Spartan. DEI running really well early on. There they go. Another one of the DEI cars. Bullet Bill. Logan Claudel. Come on, don't take out everybody. Honestly, I don't think anyone got too big, too big of damage. Hunter Spartan's going to lead them. Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll be back to see what just happened. All right, watching Bullet Bill and that camo number 01. I don't really know the best view. There we go, I guess. I don't know how it started. He... I don't really know if there was like a lot of I know people they, the car cars are a little crumpled up but I don't know if there's like a ton let's see what happened oh the three's gonna bounce off the wall down into the 30 22 got a piece of it so did the 83 uh, let's watch this from maybe the 22 not his perspective but from spectator Alvin Summers got a little nose damage off the back of the 30 the 22 guys in Pretty extensive damage. I don't know if it's going to be race ending. Oh, Mo Waker's got a lot of it, too. I think everyone else just checked up. F uh, five wide through turn, turn three and four. I'll back to the restart, though. Oh, and we have problems coming to the restart. Your leader, Joseph Rakowski, is below the apron. I don't know if he just has a tire going down. I don't see any smoke. Oh, that's rough. DEI having such a good start to the race, running one, two. Joseph, if the chase was to start before today, he would have been by like 20 points. So this could be disastrous for that 15 car. Hopefully he's just down there trying to save fuel on strategy. Because Burt Ford's not really trying to get past him. DEI having a really good run right now. Three of the top five are DEI cars. Looks like Joseph is going to pull into the pits. That's, hopefully it's just like a tire or something. It's not race ending. Uh, three people did DNF off that. Tom Akers, Tebow Claudell, and Mo Akers. Um, I didn't see how the 42 or the 49 were in it. Coming to the green lap 8. Burt Ford is your leader. Green flag is out. Mick Ventura got a nice bump from the O2 there to get a nice run on the outside. He couldn't do anything with it. He's going to get back in line. Keon Eddington making a really good move to the inside of Eli Bright. Ruby Claudell coming with him. Hopefully everyone's a lot more tame now. I say that as Keon Eddington peaked to make it three wide. Donovan do it looking to the inside of Nick Ventura for third. Hunter Spartan trying to get back past Burt forward. Oh, I think the 15 might have DNF. 
Ah, oh, he camshaft issue. That's so unfortunate for Joseph Rakowski. If you're the DEI guys, are you worried? I know we've had two Chevys. He didn't have to do a camshaft. That's something to keep an eye out for. Hunter Spartan into the wall. There goes Burt Ford and Eli Bright. Oh my gosh, what a hit. TJ Hanley's in it. Everyone else piling in. Perry Allen, really hard hit. Oh, TJ Friend got clipped. I can't get back there fast enough. Oh my gosh. Damn, people are still reckoning. One and two. That was a crazy hard hit. Ruby Claudel trying to get past on it and do it for the lead. Alexander Rose going to try getting by them both. Coming to the caution. Lap 11 of 101. We'll be right back to see what just happened. I think Burt Ford is the initial cause. Let's see. He's going to bounce off the wall right into his teammate Eli Bright. He's going to hook Eli Bright hard into the wall. I think Burt escaped that with pretty minor damage. He got real lucky. However, his teammate Eli Bright is not the lucky one we're gonna go on board nick Ven no, i'm going on we're on board nick ventura right there you see it all unfold in front golly man a ton of hard hits in this crash or is 81 to Perry Allen? Way back here in 24th. Oh, you got into the back end of Ryan Kesey, your points leader. Right into TJ Friend. Oh, pretty hard hit for that. Number 88. Oh, low Claudel went up there and nailed Perry Allen again. We'll be back to the restart. Quite a few DNFs off that one. You had TJ Friend, Perry Allen, Nick Ventura, Eli Bright, and Philip John. 33 cars remain. DEI looked so promising 10 laps ago. Three of the top five. Now two of them have DNF'd. Um, one of them was caught up in another wreck, uh, Bullet Bill. So, uh, yeah. Where is Bullet Bill? 26th. Burt Ford was just caught up in that wreck as well. So all four DEI cars having problems. Burt, uh, Burt Ford is <clears throat> 13th, excuse me. Alexander Rowe is your leader. Samet Oskin running third. And then you got Nick Flood and Ruby Claudel running your top five. How about Lego Bush, Alvin Summers, and Colin Francis in 10th <clears throat> in that Black Flag Autosport Chevy? A lot of racing to go. Hopefully these guys calm it down. Samet Oskin making a nice run on the inside. He took second away. Now he's going for the lead. He has help from Nick Flood. Drag race getting into turn number one. The 29 is right on the back one of the 48. It's going to get right on his, on his quarter panel. Take there off the spoiler. Push him up the track. So Medos can probably not even get to lead this lap. Is now Lego Bush looking to the inside of both of them. Ooh. So Matt's real high. I don't like this. He was able to get back in line, luckily. And Nick Flood will lead lap number 16. Taking a look through the pack. Make sure no one's got to kill each other. A lot of three wide action. Ooh. Uh, Alexander Rowe hard into the wall. That could end badly. Lego Bush up into the top spot for that Robert Yates racing forward. Keon Eddington trying to get past Hunter Spartan. The way the top four looks like, it's like a throwback to season four. Lego Bush having a really strong run early on. Keon Eddington getting a nice, nice run through one and two. Here comes his teammate, Samet Oskin, right behind him. DEI looked real strong about 10 laps ago. Now it's Hendrick Motorsports, two of the top three, and they're about to be one, two. And you got Kyle Akers fourth, and Ramian Fisher, who won the LCQ, trying to take fifth away from Hunter Spartan. <clears throat> Samet Oskin now right on the back bumper of Keon Eddington. Both of these drivers with a pretty long winless streak. Uh, Keon Eddington goes back to Phoenix of Season 4. Samet Oskins is Talladega of Season 5. You got Kyle Akers, who won at Charlotte last season. Nearly three wide for the lead. The Knights going to try taking the air off to spoil the 40. He's already had that happen to him once. Oh, Ke Lego Bush getting turned around. Hunter Spartan. Burt Ford's in it again. Oh, my gosh. Nick Flood's upside down. Oh, no. This is a big one. This is 
literally the whole field. Three cars upside down. Burt Ford still flipping. Max Caudel just arca breaking. Adam Makers is in it. Damn it. Oh my. Alexander Rowe was just glitched into the sky. Did anyone survive that? Oh, this race is going to be painful to watch now if this many cars are damaged. We'll be back to see what just happened. It all started with Lego Bush running inside the top five. Hunter Spartan's going to try making it three wide. Him and Max Anderson. And Lego's going to bounce off the wall right into Hunter. Oh my gosh, that. Oh, the. Oh my gosh, did y'all just see Alexander Rowe? Where are you at, Alex? There he is, right there. Ryan Kesey's teammate just nailed him. Oh my god. Alright, we'll be back for restart if there's any cars left. Oh, he ain't done yet. Barely missed the green. Turns out there's only like 19 cars left. Everybody just DNF'd. Oh my god. 19 cars left. Very few without damage. So, this is going to turn into strategy race. It was ine inevitable though, man. Keon Edkin is your leader. Then you got Samet Oskin. Ramian Fisher going for the lead. Did I share another X? I swear to goodness. I did not. People are pitting. Oh, man. Keon Edkin nearly getting dumped. Three of the four Hendrick cars were just now inside the top ten right for the pit stops. Or, I don't know what that was. Green flag stop. Adam Akers is the only DNF for Hendrick Motorsports. Jeff Wright going from fifth to third here. Max Little coming with him. Isaiah forward. Also up there, he is back in his scrunched in. I don't know how he's remaining pace. So Madoski might be pitting right here. Yes, he is. As they had a really good launch off turn four, he got taken the lead there. He smacks the wall. Lap 26 of 101. Interesting strategy taking place, man. I don't know what's going on, but interesting. Max Anderson taking second away from J uh, Jeff Bright. Have I been calling him Jeff Bright? I think I've been saying the wrong name. I don't know. Are these guys pitting right here? They are not. So, bunch of different strategies on taking place right now. The top six, you put a blanket over them. Then you got Tyler Kayser, good run for that Kevin Arm Incorporated car. Then you got the Black Flag Autosport car of Colin Francis inside the top eight. Capullo by ninth, who won last week, so he needs this win. Or he needs a good finish today. And then you got Zachary Fitzwater Sr. running 10th. Unbelievable for these small teams. Max Anderson is your leader right now. It's a Red Bull 1 2. Capula by, like I said, won last week at Bristol. He's not top 35 in points, though, but a strong run today. Could get him up there. Muhammad Zane, is he going to hold anybody up? Max Caudel slightly. Isaiah Ford slightly. Jeff Bright potentially not even close. Muhammad did a good job staying out of everyone's way. They're catching Hunter Spartan at a rapid pace. Uh, not really. About two miles an hour faster. 27. Okay, well. I think Hunter's came out of the pits. That's why he's laughing wall off. These Red Bull cars on fire, man. Running first, second, and ninth. Mo Akers, I think, he's already DNF'd. He has. Mo Akers finishing all the way back in 40th. Coming to lap 30 of 101. I know it's so early to talk about the win, but Max Anderson, he won at Talladega uh, about a month and a half ago. If it comes down to the last lap, does he let Ramian Fisher steal the win? Or not steal, but just does he give him the win? That put Ramian in the chase if Ramian gets in top 35 points, but I feel like if you win this race, all the DNS we've seen, there's a good chance you'll get in the top 35 in points. So, I don't know, man. Are you a good teammate or are you greedy? I'd personally be greedy, but if I was a car owner, I'd want a good teammate. Isaiah Ford having a strong run in third of that beat up car. Jeff Bright fifth, Ruby Cloudell sixth, Tyler Cage are really far back. Colin Francis is reeling him in though. Uh, Kapula by ninth, Zach Fersenior tenth. He's gaining though, Samet so Oskin, no, oh, 14th. Kevin Villano 11th. Keon Eddington, these guys just pit, remember. Honestly, wasn't expecting a big crash to get that many cars, but it is what it is. I don't restart races. You guys know that. 
Man, look at this three car. Isaiah Ford somehow keeping it going. The car's pretty beat up. They've passed Hunter Spartan. Now they're catching Lego Bush and Bullet Bill. Max Anderson getting held up. Hunter Spartan getting underneath Ramian Fisher. He saw this as a chance to get a lot back, and I think he just cost Ramian Fisher a ton of time. Because now Isaiah Ford and Max Claudel are going to take advantage of Lego Bush holding up to 83. New uh, second place driver, Jeff Bright, nearly running over the 83. Oh, Ramian Fisher's got to be furious right now. He's going to go from a quarter of a second back to nearly two seconds. I think he's over two seconds at this point. No, Max Anderson getting held up by Bullet Bill and Logan Claudel. Here comes Hunter Spartan, Logan Claudel's teammate. Ooh, nearly turning Max Anderson. Max Anderson throw a block late. Hunter Spartan's going to do a dive bomb three wide. Oh, that's going to help out Isaiah Ford perfectly and Max Claudel. I don't even see the 10 on here. Oh, he's in second. What the hell? I thought Max Fidel was a lap down. Oh, man. Max Fidel's in the lead now. I don't know why I thought he was a lap down. Isaiah Ford up to second. And now Ramian Fisher has caught his teammate Max Anderson after all that uh, lapped car nonsense. Bulletville falling a lap down. Isaiah Ford trying to race down the 10 car. Hunter Spartan trying to stay on the lead lap. I think this would put him. Yes, let's put him on the lead lap, right? Okay, no, he's only one lap down. He was two before this. I don't know what's going on, guys. At the COD 600 last season, it wasn't um, it wasn't like a Veterans Day Memorial or a Memorial Day Classic. It was just the COD 600 last year. Um, the 10, or not the 10, but Stuart Haas Racing did win with um, Jonathan Hoff. He was in the 39 car back then. As Isaiah Ford doing a nice little pass in the grass there. Could Max Caudill continue the COD 600 dominance for Stuart Haas Racing. Max Anderson taking the lead back. Isaiah Ford, after nearly getting destroyed off turn four, he's going back for second past Max Liddell. There's the 39 car, the winning car from last year. Kevin Blonde running 11th. I swear that car is roof damage. He does. Did he go upside down? Ooh, Bullet Bill and Hunter Spartan making a lot of contact. That looks like it was for position, too. Jeff Bright having a strong run in fifth. Ramian Fisher trying to take over second place from Isaiah Forward. These Red Bull cars are on another level today. Kevin Villano falls a lap down. Who is he going to hold up in this side-by-side -side battle? Looks like both of them. Isaiah can't really do a crossover to get underneath 83 because 83 was there. Looks like Kevin Villano not really going to hold up anybody. Jeff Bright can try taking advantage, looking to the inside of the three. Meanwhile, Max Anderson is just pulling away. He does have lap traffic in form of Muhammad Zayn up here, though. These leaders, I suspect, will be on pit road in the next half dozen laps. Max running the very outside to get past the 38. Three wide for third. I say Ford just backed out of it. He didn't want to bounce off the wall. He's seen what happens there. Muhammad Zayn doing a good job staying out of everybody's way. Man, Ramian Fisher is flying. He won the LCQ. I don't know. I don't think we've ever seen someone win the LCQ, then win the race. He's got the best chance. I mean, he is flying. I get him running the bottom on these old tires. That's super impressive. Red Bull car side by side. Jeff Bright in third. Max got out fourth. Isaiah Ford lost a lot of ground. Oh, Max. Or no, Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah is pitting. Okay, so green flag pit stop cycle is beginning. This is huge for Kyle Akers and Keon Eddington, but they're going to have pit road in a couple laps anyways. Ramian Fisher to the top spot. Max Anderson down to fourth. Looks like Ramian might be pitting. Yep. Jeff Bright going to stay out an extra lap, get a bonus point for leading a lap. Jeff Bright, I believe, is like 34th in points, so um, he needs a good run today. And I haven't really talked about this since before the season started. Remember, guys, if you're below, if you're 36th or worse in points after Homestead, you are not cup eligible with that driver next season. So, yeah, we have to do that because then there'd be too many guys cup eligible on only a couple seats. So, yeah, if you're 36th or worse, man, you need to start cranking out some good runs. Jeff Bright pulling into the pits. Ooh, Ruby Claudel nearly getting Bullet Bill forced up into the wall. There's Samet Oskin. He made a green flag pit stop like right when this run started. Damn it, I can't get on him. There he is. 
He was up to fourth. He might be the leader now, but how long can he go on on fuel? His last lap was 26.97. So that just shows you um, how dead his tires are. He, I think he led a lap earlier, but if not, he just probably got a very important bonus point for leading that lap. If he did, I don't think he, I think he's taking leader right now. Where's the 24? I think he stomped her earlier. Yeah, there he is right there. Samet Oskin laughing, Muhammad Zayn. Here comes Samet Oskin. So this is putting him basically on the same strategy. Now he can go a little further than everyone else. I like the strategy he's playing. There's Kyle Akers as well. Keon Eddington pit at the same time of Samet and uh, Kyle Akers. And he's staying out. He's your leader right now. As the 84 of Max Anderson tries on laughing himself. That's a good strategy. If there were, if caution would have came out like two laps ago, then this would have been perfect for these guys because they would have trapped everyone else a lap down. They could have pit, stayed in the lead. That would have been perfect. Gun and tires are so dead that Max Anderson is gonna blow by. I apologize if you hear wind. Like we're having like a crazy dust storm right now. Max Caldwell is apparently in second, which is gonna be the lead here before too long. Four seconds over Ramian Fisher. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, there's Raymond Fisher right there. Four and a half seconds almost. On lap 45 101. You guys, I said this in the amateur series race the other day. Man, I love races that turn into strategy, like, um, you know, different strategies. Not everyone put on the same time, stretching it out, multiple different strategies going on. Those are my favorite kind of races. A lot of people think they're boring, so I'm actually really intrigued by this. Hopefully, you guys like this too, and you're not just in it for the wreck. Because if you are, you got a huge one earlier, so there you go. Ramian Fisher losing time. McCullen Francis into third. How about that? Samet Oskin on fresher tires, but he's stuck a lap down right now. Can he get up there? Kyle Akers, actually. He's behind Colin Francis, or he's behind Samet Oskin somehow. I'm not sure how that works. Max Codell trying to lap Lego Bush yet again. Ooh, Lego. Throwing some mean blocks there. I'm going to lap down his Lego Bush. Let's put him two. Did Keon Eddington have to pit twice? Okay, he's two laps down now. Ooh, three wide. Is he going to pit again? Something might be wrong with that 25. It's not. Okay, he just had a really bad stop. Mom and Zane on pit road. Let's see if Ramian Fisher's going to gain it all. Oh, he did. He gained over a second. And he's been side by side with 80 or the 9 for a really long time. Remember the 9 and the 40, they have fresher tires in that Charlotte. That means a lot. One lap means a lot. So, 48, the 9, 25, they're all lap down. It's really unfortunate. Uh, 25 is two laps down. So, Rain Fisher did lose about half a second there. But. Tough news for Max Cadell because he has three really hungry cars with fresher tires chasing him down. Like last lap was a 27-16 compared to 20. Oh, wow. They were faster. Then again, these guys are battling. Ooh, Keon into nearly. That was, that could have been sketchy. All right, let's see. 27-18 compared to 26-88. And he was in a battle. So Matt Oskin is flying right now. I like the strategy he's on, but he's caught a lap down. He was a lap down during the last strategy, too, so that's what put him back. So, if this goes green to the end, which, I mean, there's a good chance. There's not too many battles going on right now. I mean, there's a couple battles, but not, like, 20 cars like we saw at the beginning. So, if this goes green to the end, Samet Oskin could be sitting pretty. Yeah, Ramian Fisher gaining nearly half a second that lap. Max Codell, he's in a Stuart Haas racing car. And you know, you guys know how the rating system works in the Premier or in Boar in general. Uh, Sturhaus Racing, they have a minimum of 88 and a maximum of 100. So, Red Bull has a minimum of 96 and a maximum of 100. So, that doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that the, eight, the 10 car is running with 88 ratings. He could be running 92 and 1, 94 and another, 88 and 1, 100 and another. It just means it could be anywhere between 88 and 100 as opposed to in between 96 and 100 for Red Bull. So, 
Yes, he's gaining. Yes, it's possible he could still win, but the Red Bull is there's a good chance he's slightly better. The ten or the storehouse racing is pretty underfunded in terms of ratings. Man, uh Ramey Fisher's caught up in pretty thick traffic. Max Anderson had a bad pit stop. He's thirteen seconds back. He was inside the top five when the green flag stop started. Ramian Fisher he was about four seconds back three laps ago, and now he's less than two. Something might be wrong with that 10 car. His last lap was a 27-22, compared to Raymond Fisher's 26-6. So, yeah, yeah, the 10's off pace. Something might be wrong. He's going 197, 198 at the line, compared to 204. Maxido might be blowing up, guys. Just passed halfway, the longest race of the year. This is to put your equipment to the test. <clears throat> oh, that's so unfortunate for the 10. But, look at it this way. The worst he could possibly finish. Ooh, that 01 lost a camshaft. Another... Another camshaft for DEI. The 15 and the 01. Are there any DEI cars left? Where's the 8? Eli Bright, 30, but lost a valve, so... Three mechanical failures for DEI today, man. Remember, like lap 10, they were three more in the top five. Keanu yeah, can trying to get one lap back. Some of can trying to get back on the lead lap. Second place, Ramian Fisher got held up by Muhammad Zane. Colin Francis, don't go high, man. He's in third. Black Flag Autosport has definitely been the most impressive startup team this year. That means their ratings are near from 86 to 100. And... They've been really solid in the truck series. Colin Francis has knocked out some really solid finishes in the Premier Series. Um, I think he got second at Bristol, if I'm not mistaken. So, second or third. Smedoz can now back on the lead lap. Ramey and Fisher going for the lead. Maxwell trying to block Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Falling a lap down. He was 10th. Now he's like 11th. There's 11 cars on the lead lap. 10 cars on the lead lap. Smedoz can is now the last. Kyle Akers is one lap down as well. He's all over the back bumper, the 48. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ramian Fisher just now getting past Max Sodell side by side for nearly a whole lap. Does that help Colin Francis reel him in at all? It's getting hard there, batting. No, 260. He lost a lot of ground. Uh, tires are wearing out big time, though. We should see cars on pit road in about 5 to 10 laps. Three wide in front of the leader. Keon Eddington, some all his can teammates making contact. Kyle Akers. Oh, no. Oh, Samet Oskin had such a good run going. Oh. Come on, disappear. So no one hits you. There you go. Oh, that sucks. We've actually what just happened. Five laps to go. Samet Oskin could have been my pick to win the race. And... Oh, the nine kind of came up, and oh my gosh, what a hit. Let's go on board, Samet Oskin. He survived 57 laps in the College 600, just for this. Three wide with your teammate, catching up a lap car. Keon Eddington even got a big piece of that. We'll be back for the restart. Everybody pit except for Max Caldell and Colin Francis. Big strategy plays, I like it. Coming to the green, so Matt Oskin and Kyle Akers have both DNF'd. So that means there are about 16 cars left. Uh, nine on the lead lap. Zachary Pitchwater Sr. is a lap down. Yeah. Colin Francis, oh, damn. Colin Francis is your leader. Max Claudel as well had stayed out. But looks like he pit last possible second. Tyler Kayser in that KHI car, last year's Amateur Series champion, has had an awful rookie season. Here he is, running second with fresher tires than the leader. Then you got Ruby Claudel, Capula by, and Ramian Fisher. Don't count Isaiah forward. Then you got Max Anderson, Jeff Bright, and Max got on nine cars with less than 50 to go. That could win this race. Tyler Kayser taking the lead. Colin France looks like he's about to pull off into the pits. Different strategy. I like if this is going to put him a lap down or two. I, I would probably pit under the caution. Oh, did I see a crash? Oh, Ramian Fisher going to hook Mohamed Zane up into Logan Claudel. Caution is out. The leader's already raced back. 
they did not. Ruby Claudel is going so much faster than Tyler Kayser for the lead. Hunter Spurns a lap down. I see one or two. He's two, but he could get one back right here. If he applies some mad pressure. He's not. Tyler Kayser will lead them back. This is perfect for uh the just pit. Uh Colin Francis, I think he's a lap down though. We'll be back to see what just happened. Let's see, Mohamed Zane just trying to mind his own business, pick up a couple extra points, and no, he bounced off of one Ramian Fisher was already there. Right up into Logan Claudel. Not a lot of damage, but we're back for the restart. Coming to the green and left, 69 of 101. Everybody pit under that caution. Isaiah Ford is now your leader. Colin Francis could have got back on the lap, but he pit too. So I guess he's on the same strategy as everyone else, but he's a lap down now. I don't know if I... I would if you're gonna be able to pit under green a lap after you start, just stay out under that caution, especially if it's a lap after you pit. I don't know. But going to the green lap 69 of 101. Just over 30 to go here in the COD 600. Isaiah Ford is your leader. Ruby Cottell second. Max Anderson third. Tyler Gazer fourth. And Max Cottell fifth. Ooh, and Isaiah getting a good jump. The 39 Kevin Villano. That car is destroyed. It looks like it's been upside down at one point. So he's holding up a lot of people. The top five do get through easily. Max Anderson's had one of the fastest cars today, but he got stuck in the back due to the green flag pit stops. He's worked his way back up to second now. Here comes Max Claudel. Did he fix that problem? That was making him go super slow towards the end of that run. Maybe his tires were dead. I don't know. Isaiah Ford, though, still has damage from that first crash. Max and looked at the inside. Isaiah threw the block way too late. Max Anderson now got up to the top spot. This day could be huge for Max gaining points. Like we said, he won at Talladega earlier. But getting some a three extra chase points right here would be huge. And help reel in the points lead. Max Claudel third. Ruby Claudel fourth. Tyler Kayser running strong in fifth. Uh, then you got sixth. Ramian Fisher. Seventh. Jeff. Damn it. Seventh. Jeff Bright. Kapula by last week's winner. Not top 35 points. We've mentioned that. He's running eighth right now. Good run. Yeah. Uh. Colin Francis, 9th, he's a lap down. And Keon Eddington, 10th, he's a lap down. As is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Isaiah Ford, it looked like he was off pace whenever the 84 flew by him. I guess he just ran a bad line. Or now that he's in the draft, he's able to keep up. I don't think he's close enough to make a move. Or if his car's good enough. I apologize if you're people in the background. Lap 72 of 101. Tyler Kayser trying to run the very outside back there in 5th. A really good run for him. Colin Francis, though... He knows what's on the line in that 03. He's running top 10 right now, but he knows he can do so much more. What could have been the battle for fifth, but Isaiah Ford still just hanging in within two tenths of the 84, but that damage isn't allowing him to get any closer. We're catching Lego, Lego, or Lego Bush really fast, 180 miles per hour compared to 207. Last lap was a 29.97. Wow. A 29.97 compared to Max Anderson's 26.48. 26.48 compared to a 29.97. That is literally like three and a half seconds. Isaiah Ford's actually gaining a little bit off turn two. Maybe he has a good long run car. I don't know. Ruby Claudel still stuck behind Hunter Spartan. Colin Francis is past Ramian Fisher, or he's past Tyler Kayser. Ramian Fisher as well has past Tyler Kayser. Ramian Fisher up to sixth, or up to fifth, I mean, getting past Colin Francis. He got a couple lap cars. There's Ruby Caldwell for fourth. There's a lot of racing left to go, though. Coming to 26 to go this time by. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if Isaiah Ford has anything for Max Anderson. They still have like two more pit stop, or they have one more pit stop. Did, oh, something's wrong with Max Anderson. Is he out of gas? The leader. Oh no. The side by side battle for the lead is on. Isaiah Ford just muscled down the back stretch, trying to clear the tin. This is for the lead. What happened to the 84? He's off pace on the back. I don't know if he's out of gas or he has a flat tire or what. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is the definition of unfortunate. Ramian Fisher's moved up to third as he got past Ruby Claudel. The battle for the lead continues. That's just helping everyone else catch up. 
I think the 10 is definitely still off pace like whenever he had the lead because the three is on the outside with damage and the 10 can't get by him. Max Anderson has made it to pit road. I see, oh, I thought I just seen a wreck or something. That's all straight. Sparks. They've got Lego, damn it, Lego Bush. Oh, who's he going to block though? Looks like he might hold up to both of them. Oh, Isaiah Ford's in the wall. That's going to, oh, Lego Bush has dumped himself. Oh, they're racing back to the caution. The 3 could get his lap back. Oh, Colin Francis is driving like his life depends on it. He's got to check up for the apron. Caution is out. Oh, the 84 Max would all DNF to a piston. Lost a piston, man. That's that's terrible. Wow, what did I actually what just happened? Lego Bush just screwed himself, man. Lego Bush. Let's see. Yeah, three was already there, and Lego Bush definitely went up. We're gonna go on board Isaiah Ford. If Isaiah wouldn't have hit the wall, he would have been fine. Yeah, 28 came up. Now, I saw this whenever I was rewinding. We need to watch Lego Bush a little bit more. Ruby Caudel is just going to nail him, and he's going to go barreling. Jeff Bright's in it as well. Does anyone else get in it? Huge damage to the 24 and the 21. We'll be back for the restart if there's anybody left. Green flag is out. I just barely missed it. So many people are out now. Jeff Bright, Ruby Claudel are out. There's 10 cars remaining. Five on the lead lap. Colin Francis, man. He could steal this win away. Honestly, at this point, I think the smart picks to win is either the 83 or the 82. Ramian Fisher could get his first win, first career win today. As everyone else is a lap down. Tyler Kayser in that Kevin Harvin Incorporated car, man. He could do it. Max Claudel in the lead. Ramian Fisher now going for the lead. The LCQ winner, like I said, could be the first time in history. Someone's won the LCQ, then won the race. Isaiah forward right behind Hunter Spartan, trying to take second away from Max Claudel. These guys still have one more pit stop. Hopefully it's under green, because that'd be a lot more exciting than under caution. Mix things up a little bit. Can Max Claudel reel in the 83? Does the 83 have to worry about an engine uh, mechanical failure, just like the 84 had while leading? I don't know, man. Same team. Oh, Isaiah Ford just bumped Hunter Spartan out of the way. He ain't got time to be pushing a lap car, he says. As damaged as that three car is, he just bounced off the wall, then got put in the wall, got a little bit of nose damage. His rear end is destroyed. Here he is running second for Richard Childers Racing. But catching that 83 is going to be a tall task. We have 15 and a half laps to go here at Charlotte. I believe they have one more pit stop. It's going to be super close whether or not they can make it. Isaiah Ford up to second. Hunter, or er, not Hunter. Colin Francis, man, he can get up there and get his lap back. He might be the fastest car on track right now. Let's compare lap times. Ramian Fisher just ran a 26.70, a 26.67, 26.70, 26.72. So Isaiah Ford running the fastest lap time last time by. He has Max Claudel looking to the inside. That's exactly what Ramian Fisher wants to see. They are going to catch Kevin Vallon here. For, that car's been upside down. He could get a, he's going to get a top 10. It's highly unlikely. Yeah, he can, it's impossible for him to finish anywhere worse than 10. Isaiah Ford got a really good run off turn 4, clearing Max uh, Claudel. Fourth place, Tyler Kayser so far back. Capullo Bias got damaged in that 82. He's just happy to be here at this point. Zachary Fitzwater Sr., how about that Keesey Motorsports driver running 8th? Oh, Isaiah Ford is there, man. We talked about it for five seasons. Isaiah Ford had been here since season one, and he didn't get his first career win until Atlanta of season five. So he had five or four winless seasons, four and a half winless seasons. Uh, he hasn't won since, but that was like race 12 or something like that of season six or season five. Or that was actually, like, I think it was in chase, like race 17 or something. But could he win today? Isaiah is really big on patriotism. I feel like this is one race he would want to win more than anything else. Ramian Fisher, uh, this is his second season in the Calder Premier Series. His first was like season three or season two. So, and he's yet to win a race. Max Claudel, he's just happy to be here at this point. That car is pretty off pace, it looked like. But now, he's running as fast lap times as a three. 
Yeah, Tyler Cades are going for what could be his career best finish. Capullo by running fifth after winning last week. I think this would definitely put him in the top 35 in points. 11 laps to go. I feel like they definitely have to pit again. Oh, man, this race is shaping up. It's only five cars in the lead lap. Only three with a chance unless they wreck. But I feel like this is exciting, man. Coming to 10 to go. Do they have enough fuel to make it? Isaiah Ford might have the best car, surprisingly, out of the top three. Let's compare lap times this time by as well. Ramian Fisher ran a 26.59. Okay, Max Aron a 26.60. 26.57. 26.59. Isaiah was 200 hundredths of a second faster. He's less than two tenths back. They're catching Hunter Spartan at a rapid pace. They're really catching Kevin Lano at a rapid pace. This is going to be huge, man. Ramian Fisher, first crew win. Isaiah Forward, uh, second crew win. And Max Cladell, first crew win. Or, er, second crew win. Then you got Colin Francis, six. He's just, just... It'd be crazy if he could pull off a top five here, but I don't see how he could. Unless he pulls some crazy fuel strategy. And I don't. I feel like they have to pivot. I'm not sure. Isaiah Forge gets through the center of the turn so much better than the 83 and the 10. But they get him on the straightaway because he has a little bit of damage. Eight laps to go. They're definitely catching Hunter Spartan. 26.59 compared to 27.24. So, seven tenths of a second, or uh, six tenths of a second faster. Did Isaiah Forge get through three and four a little bit better, and the 83 is going to pull away towards the end of the straightaway. Seven to go with the COD 600. Oh, they have two lap cars ahead of them. Oh, this could be huge. This could be what gets Tyler Kayser and Capullo by a chance. We'll see. Kevin Volano goes down, makes contact with Ramian Fisher. That made Isaiah Ford check up a little bit. Max Hodel's getting held up slightly. I, that didn't work out as bad as I thought it would. Six to go. Oh, but there's Hunter Spartan. Three laps down. He shouldn't race him. Let's see if he will. Ramian Fisher's going to get a nice run. Hunter Spartan should stay high, minding his own business. Hopefully he stays high unless Isaiah goes well. Come on, Hunter. Don't run the bottom here. Stay high. He doesn't really hold Isaiah up. Okay, so we could still have a race on our hands, man. Four and a half laps to go. Oh, man, the three still having to race him. Oh, they're catching Zach Fitzwater Sr. as well. Isaiah couldn't get... He can't get clear of the, of the 77. Could this be it for Ramian Fisher? Isaiah still gained a hundredth of a second on him there. Four laps to go. If the 77 gets underneath Isaiah, this race is done. He should just back off. He's not contesting for a win. I don't know what he's trying to do with this. They're catching Zachary Fitzwater Sr. crazy fast as well. The way the Hunter Spartan's running outside, the leaders are pitting. Does anybody have enough fuel to make it? Three laps is a long time if these guys are pitting this early. Where's Tyler Kayser? A splash and go is all you need. Oh my gosh, Tyler Kayser's staying out. I just had like a sound like a snake. <laughs> Three laps to go. Tyler Kayser's in the lead. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Raymond Fisher still led that lap. Did the pull of eyes stay out? He did! Oh my gosh. Oh, Tyler's pulling into the pits, coming to two to go. Does Capula Bias stay out? He is. Can he go back to back? Two laps to go. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Ramian Fisher has a huge lead over Isaiah Ford, so if Capula Bias runs out, Ramian Fisher's got this win in the bag. Come on, Kapoor, one lap. You can do it. You can even save. Kapula by is going for it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. White flag is out in the COD 600. The first 
the inaugural Memorial Day Classic. There's Colin Francis. Now I was hoping he would try staying out doing something. Half a lap to go. Can Capola by make it? This is absolutely insanity if he does. Oh, he's starting to lose speed. Is he out? It doesn't matter. He can coast here. Kabula by coming at turn number four is going to win the COD 600. Back to back wins for Kabula by. Oh my gosh. And coming at turn number four, Ramian Fisher is going to get second. The battle for third is on between Isaiah Ford and, and Max Claudel. Isaiah is going to hold on for, for third. Who's going to get fifth? Where's uh, Zachary Fitzwater? Or no, Tyler Kayser. Where's he at? Did he already cross? He did. Wow, we'll be right back to look at your official results. One of the craziest races in the College of Premier Series history, and it couldn't have come at a better time. The COD 600, the Memorial Day Classic. This was classic. Ten cars finished the race. A surprise winner. Not that the driver itself was surprising, but he was fifth, half a set, or half a lap back, and he stretched it. Capula by winning two straight races. This should put him close to 35th in points. If he misses, I think he's like 17 back coming in. So like, if he misses a chase due to not being in top 35 in points, that's going to be disastrous. But Capula by wins it. Teammate Ramian Fisher second. I think that's Red Bull's first one-two finish in their existence. Isaiah Ford third, Max Cuddle fourth, Tyler Kayser a strong top five, one lap down. How about Zachary Fitzwater Sr. getting sixth, Kevin Villano seventh, Colin Francis eighth, Keon Edding ninth, and Hunter Spartan tenth. There's so many notables outside the top ten, we're not going to go over them. But man, look at all this carnage, this is crazy. DEI, one of the biggest stories of the race, three mechanical failures of the four. Ah oh, man, that's insanity. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to by And as always, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye. He said, boy, can you make fans stand and scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass? Never let off the gas till you rode into victory lane. He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you're Daytona bound, let me wonder you're in for a ride.